Let's tile an arch. We have to make a template here because the arch is not perfect. Now here, I will calculate and draw a true arch and then overlay the template over the arch. See, the original arch is the pencil line. Now using a 10% reduction in size of the tile to accommodate for a radius cut, I'll lay out the extra DOS of the arch. Now with the perfect arch drawn and the true arch laid out overlaid, I'll lay out my vasseurs to the perfect arch and then transfer those lines through the existing arch, which will give us our angles. From here I'll mark center point for each vasseur location so that I can individually place the tiles on the arch to mark the angles. We're doing this because of the irregular arch, each angle will be different. After the angle cuts are complete, we'll take a fine finished template of the radius and get it marked out so that we can make those cuts to complete the radius. Using this grinding wheel and polishing pad set from Caladad Tools makes this job a breeze. Once the intrados radius is cut, we'll use a compass to mark out the extra dos radius and then do the same exact thing. We're going to bend Schluter sheen around those tiles, so I'm going to cut out the template, remove the support brackets from the sheen flange, and then bend it around the template so it's ready for install. Now this is how you can take a not perfect arch and give it the appearance that it is a perfect arch. Enjoy!